Hey guys, Martin East here in EastDesign.com. I'm going to show you the basics of HTML and CSS or coding by hand. Last time I was here, I talked about HTML and CSS and the philosophy. Why do we use HTML for structure and CSS for presentation? Um, now we're going to code by hand. You're going to need a text editor of some kind. You can use Word, you can use WordPad, you can use text editor, you can use Notepad, whatever you want to use. doesn't really matter. Um, I personally use Text Wrangler. For PC, I would suggest Crimson Edit as a great one. Basically, why I use these is the color coordination. You can also use Dreamweaver as a text editor, but don't cheat and use the program to build your web page. You're coding by hand. Alright? Now, we're going to start coding. Um, you got your untitled document. You're going to press Apple S or Control S if you're on a PC, and we're going to title this document Coding Basics.html. Or .htm, sorry. You're going to save it. Now, we got to specify a doc type or, or our rule set. We got to make our make sure our page follows W3C standards. I talked about that in the previous tutorial, so if you don't know, go back and look it up. We're going to go into Google, we're going to type in doc type, open up a doc type page, just find this 4.01 strict doc type here. And uh, you don't need to remember this, so don't memorize it. It's Pointless. If you want to nerd out, then go for it. I'll, you know, whatever. But I prefer not to. I'd rather just find it. So we're going to paste it at the top of our document. And now we're going to start opening our tags. First tag we open is the HTML tag. And you open them as such and close them as such. This is an open tag. This is a close tag. Okay? Very simple. Open, close. Open, close. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start a head tag and close that. This specifies the under the hood elements, or um, in layman's terms, we're telling our browser what our page is about, and this is how we specify that here in this head tag. So I'm going to put a title, or yeah, I'm going to put a title in here, and um, close that within the head tag. You've got to keep these things within the header tag here, otherwise the page won't know what's going on. So go ahead and format it the way you'd like. I'm going to do it like this so you can understand what I'm doing. And I'm going to put the best page ever. You don't need to put it in quotes or anything like that. Just put it in there. And that's going to be the title of our page. Just like this page, their title is HTML Validation Choosing a Doc Type. Same thing. That's our title, though, the best page ever. Are. Now, um, the other thing we got to do is I talked about linking to external style sheets using CSS. And uh, we're going to do that right now. So uh, open up a link tag here. And we're going to type in REL or relation. That's the relation to this page that we're linking to. And this is a style sheet. Next thing is we're going to put our type, text, slash CSS. Last thing is we're going to put the location, href. And this is whatever.css. Make sure when we title our new page that you call it that, or you're going to not have a proper link in your CSS, or your presentation won't show up. Now we're all set to go and we're set to build our page, just like that. We're going to come down here, we're going to make a body. Body is where you put the content of your page. So put all your content in the body tag. Simple enough, right? Next thing is we've got headers. You've got H1. Um, you've got H2. If I can type tonight. And H3. Now, you put your order of importance in ascending order or yeah well descending order I guess it would be basically for example I'm sorry I'm not making much sense but basically what you do is um, the most important thing on this page is that Mark Nice is awesome second most important thing on this page Mark Nice is better than you third thing that you need to know about this page is Mark Nice may be full of himself with these headers. Yeah, and the reason I laid out like this is because if you're a spider and you're, you're a search engine spider or robot or whatever, and you're creeping and crawling through sites and doing what you do, you're gonna go and you're gonna index according to the first thing, which is H1, and then H2, and then H3. If you understand what I'm saying, the most important header is the H1 header, the least important header is the H3 header. And that's how your content gets indexed. So the most important things you want in your H1. And so on and so forth. Um, yeah. So now we're going to make a paragraph. This is for the, our, our large amounts of content that we want on our page. 
And this is a little digression, but I'm going to show you how to get dummy text. And we're going to go to Google and we're going to type in lorem ipsum. And if you've ever seen this text before, this is text that looks real but is just random gibberish. So you're going to go to lorem ipsum and you're going to say, generate me one paragraph of random gibberish. Press OK. Take some random gibberish. Copy it. Paste it in your document. It's going to come out a little weird. Just go ahead and format it. It's no big deal. It doesn't matter what line it's on as long as it's in that tag, in that paragraph tag. Just make it so you can read it like so. There's our page. We're going to have some headers and a paragraph. Great. Apple S or Control S. And you're going to save that. Now you're going to press Apple N or Control N, open a new document, then press Apple S or Control S and save it. This is our CSS. Remember, we titled it whatever.css, and we're going to save that. And now we're going to start styling. We're going to style, first we're going to style our body. The way you do this is you open a, uh, a statement, if you will, here with the brackets, like I've done. And then we're going to just specify different attributes here. So we're going to say background color black and this is how you do it every statement you can look up these lists of statements but I'm just gonna do the basic ones for now but yeah background color you put a colon here you put the attribute and then you put a semicolon at the end of it and then you close so basically we're saying hey we want our body background color to be black end of that end of that little definition there okay next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take our header, or, or H1 rather, and we're going to put our color as white. Next thing, H2, same kind of stuff, color, we're going to say pink. Close that, H3, color, uh, gray, and our text our paragraph text, P, we're going to specify our color as red. Now, simple as that. So, when I load this page, body's going to be black, H1's white, H2's pink, H3's gray, and the paragraph color is red. Basic page, and it will work. So go into Firefox, press Apple O or Control O, find your document, and make sure you open that HTML, that HTML document, otherwise it won't work. Don't open the CSS. Double click that. There you go. Very basic, but it does do what we intended for it to do. That is our headers in order of importance there and our paragraph. Now, we can style these things any way we want, and I will get into that further. I'm also, next tutorial, going to show you a basic um, list navigation using lists and whatnot, and also some other cool styling techniques and we're going to get a more and more and more advanced page. So you're going to learn how to build a web page right here for free, no cost. Just visit my site, visit my tutorials, tell me what you think, and I'll keep doing them. So yeah, there you go. MarkNeeseDesign.com. Thanks for visiting. Stop in again. Bye. Peace.